So I set my alarm for four in the morning, thinking that perhaps the weather pattern was going to be good to go fly this morning. It's not. It looks terrible. It's like biblical. <laughs> Yeah, we go in uh, paramotor gypsy here. So I'm going to try and get out from underneath the jet stream here to the east of these storms about an hour to two hours. I'm about to see the world in action, what we can be, life with no distractions. Someone posted a question out the other day. It says, what's your regular LZ? We've got a few LZs in Amarillo that would be considered, I guess, normal LZs. A lot of times I find I just go somewhere and find a place out of the way that's legal to park and just launch. Historical markers, at least in Texas, have always been a friendly place for me to fly out of. Usually they have a little parking spot and a little clearing where you can launch from. I've had good luck with historical markers. Not gonna lie, I was 110% on the struggle bus this morning. <laughs> Tired, not 100% sure that my crazy plan of getting behind this weather system was gonna work out, but so far so good. It's definitely crosswind though. Get away from me. All right, thank you. Does anyone else talk to their wing? I talk to my wing all the time. Does not seem to be a problem. So looks like we've got some barbed wire across the top here that they put across the top of these poles for some reason. And uh, I don't know why they would do that, but anyways. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to bring the wing up. I'm gonna walk back towards my truck. So I'm gonna walk right back to here to get myself the most launching room possible. And then I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna apply a little bit of brakes. I need to be coming down and making the turn right onto the road when I start hitting speed and have a little bit of left brakes and then I really need to be off the ground by the time I hit here or I need to start I really need to abort if I'm not going to make it by there I've got a heavy ship today Let's see if that turns over or if it's gonna give me a cravat I think it's gonna cravat but Maybe I can work it out here on the ground. Nope, no cravat. I'll be damned. Wow. Way more crosswind than even I thought it was, really. Well, we're not going to turn and run until we're comfortable. Staying until I get that wing where I like it. Staying back from that barbed wire enough that that is generally more than enough wind, knowing my ratty old windsock to do a reverse but I'm getting a little bit of turbulent air Not liking it. 
Not liking it at all, man. If this is a situation where I can't, cannot kite to where I want that wing and taxi it, I will call it. I may be dumb, but I'm not stupid. You know you want to fly. here it was not going to be you know this gorgeous canyon type landscape but I find prairies are beautiful in their own way for one it's all it out <laughs> at some point I want to fly over to that rabbit ear mountains the the big issue with it is it is private land there's I don't know that there's any roads to it or from it so boy if you have an engine out what a hike. <laughs> Very engine out conscious. I've had it happen a few times. Not on this, not on this frame, but on my old one for sure. So I thought this was a pond beneath me. It's not, it's a little hill. Check out this redneck swimming pool. Ha <laughs> ha, I love it. I bet that thing's a blast. If I was a kid, I would have loved that thing. That's pretty awesome though. That's a swimming pool on a budget right there. Gets the job done. Probably an old tailwater pit too, just repurposed. Sometimes it's all right to just go up and float. You're not getting bucked and I'm not. It's butter air, it's just real strong. Without that sun baking the ground, there isn't anything to really pump the thermals and gusts real hard. I'm not saying it can't gust without the sun, but see how the ground effect is here a little bit of course the ground will cause turbulence too right 
get going a little faster too. Oh, barbed wire. That's why you always fly over an area before you start foot dragging. Not that I'm foot dragging. It's too turbulent down here for that. Woo! Get it! Good active flying practice. Something like this is perfect to practice your bump tolerance. It's probably the worst that's going to happen. There's a hot wire. There's a lot more fencing and stuff around here than I thought. This must be where they corral all their cattle in from different directions. Herd them up here. Makes sense. They got fences coming out at all kinds of different angles here. Another hot wire. Barbed wire, barbed wire. No, barbed wire, hot wire. So it looks like they do. Northeast, southwest is their barbed wire and the other cardinal directions are, or the other four directions are hot wire. I get thirsty when I fly. So, got my camel back right here so I can get a drink of water without having to land. Still got to land to pee. I'm not into the whole catheter thing yet. So, there's nobody here anymore, which is good. So, I'm going to get a little quick flyby. This is a pretty little campground. As far as I know, this is the only campground in the Rita Blanca, at least in Texas. Well, there is a tent there, but there's no car. And there's wood in the fireplace. That wind is really kicked up. I don't think anyone would mind if I land on this scrub property over here. I'm gonna do a low pass just to check for barbed wire or hot wire. I think I see some already. The turbulence is starting to hit pretty hard. Is that a ping pong table? <laughs> nah. That's corrugated steel. That would be hilarious though. Farmers are the guys that, when their mama told them, go outside and find something to do. They went outside and found something to do. Woo! I'm getting rocked like a hurricane now. I really don't want to land behind that little bluff, but if it's, if it's fenced on both sides of the road here, I don't have a choice. I kind of want that extra runway just because I could get picked up. So I definitely have a fence on this side. See, there's the dump I was afraid of. Let's go ahead and get away from that fence. I'll go ahead and get to the road. Nice thing about a wing, it makes your kit lighter, right? I mean, if that wing's pulling you up, especially in, uh, <laughs> this is pretty heavy wind. It's a lot heavier than what I launched in. All right, as fun as this is, let's go ahead and put her down. Well, I got my Sunday flight in. I had to work for it though. It did not come easy. So a day like this, never leave my wing out. 
I'm gonna try not to drag it too much because it's on yucca plants and stuff. Could be cactus in here. Wouldn't be the first time I've ripped my stuff up on a cactus or something. I'm gonna bring it up here, set it on the gravel, backwards to the wind. Cause she will try to fly. Woo! Fun, fun. Stay right there. I'll be right back. Ah, ah. Okay, it really wasn't that hard. <laughs> you get back there. Oh yeah. This this is a uh, ankle bracelet in case I yeah, you know, break my ankle. <laughs> that has happened. All things that I come prepared for have happened. I'm sure that's an engaging camera angle of my crotch on the 360 cam. We'll set that 360 cam right here. All right, hell. All right, there's nothing in there that's gonna get hurt. Let's see if that's leaking at all. It is a little bit. Now I know why my wife left it for me. Fun of a sitch. Uh, maybe I just didn't tighten it enough. Yeah, that's probably what it was. It was a little moist. Not too bad. All right, so what I'm gonna do is do a partial breakdown on this frame. That thing. It's not how I want to travel. Just simply not. It's like a giant wind sail. Look at that, and it just tore to pieces. It's a grill cover. I'm not gonna take it back. <laughs> Cause I used a grill cover as a paramotor cover. It is not the grill cover company's fault. making sure it's not gonna catch on anything. I don't have any junk in the bed of my truck that's gonna mess with it. And uh, if you wonder why my paramotor is always nasty, yeah, I try to clean it, but you know. Okay. Now for a two hour trip back to Amarillo. <laughs> 